Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm starting off the part with a boss, which is the first for the walkthrough. So let's go to Kujal's contest. And needless to say, the boss is Kujal, which is basically a palette swap of Clubba, you know, Clubba's kiosk, the toll guy. Um, when he jumps down on the top of the screen there, he makes earthquakes that stun you like that. So I just wanted to demonstrate it that once just to show you what I mean. And eventually he'll do that little jump, which doesn't stun you, but makes a TNT barrel fall down from the heavens and you can throw it at him. I don't understand why he makes that barrel appear to begin with because it, 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 it's, you know, it's the only thing he's vulnerable to, and I don't see why he would want to make himself vulnerable to begin with. <laughs> I guess it's boss logic in that practically invincible enemies need to give themselves some sort of weakness of sorts. <laughs> And that's pretty much it, aside from when he changes his attack pattern. Uh, also, do not stand too close to him when he stuns, because, yeah, that can happen. Or he could swing his club at you, and I, yeah, I kind of made a mistake there. But I'm, I'm doing okay, I suppose. Just gotta keep up with his pattern. It's not all that difficult to get the hang of, and this is, as you see, he's changed his attack pattern, but he's still just as predictable with his jumps as well as the stuff you have to throw at him. It just... It's just that he changes it up just a little bit to try and throw you off, but at the same time, he still gives you the TNT barrel of the gods. <laughs> so I, I still don't quite get why he does that, but eh, oh well. And he's done. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> that silly ending. And with that, Creme Quay is done. Whew. Not all that hard. And the next level is Crazy Kremlin. Oh, I should also mention, uh, a quick way to check if you've got everything in a world is if you see an exclamation point and Donkey Kong coin on the world map select thingy dealio here. So, yeah, it works just the same on the world map as it does in the uh, level select for each world. Anyway, next world is Crazy Kremlin, and needless to say, it is going to be a uh, amusement park sort of thing. But not quite yet. We're going to start with Hornet Hole, which is... A beehive and there's a hole right there <laughs> I can't actually go into it uh, I noticed that there was a hook right there at the start but I need I need a buddy to get there we go oh yeah I should give you a little demonstration of what this honey is like you can't uh, uh, you can't move left and right when you're stuck on this honey like this it's it's just that sticky and uh, yeah it's the same with this stuff except you can actually climb walls by jumping off of them like so and then kind of ascending as you go. It's, it's it's kind of tricky to get the hang of because it's a new level gimmick, but once you do, it'll be like second nature. You'll be able to... Ooh, I'm still using the Xbox controller. <laughs> Dang you, Xbox controller. And yeah, as a bonus, I figured there'd be one here. I think there's actually two up in this corner, if I remember correctly. Anyway, let's find the token, and I can already tell this is going to be a Dixie one because she holds a chest above her head, and I can just blast the zingers. This looks like to be the uh, a chest within a chest thing. It looks like the chest is the same size each time I break open a chest, which wouldn't make any sense whatsoever, unless this was in the video game world. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, that, take, took, take, <laughs> that takes care of that. Okay, now I think there's another one off. Yes, I think this is another bonus level. Yep, <laughs> it's just one right after the other. They're tricky like that. You gotta climb, gotta climb, gotta hurry, gotta climb. Go, oh. thank Xbox. <laughs> I never trust the D-pad on this thing. <laughs> and there we go. And I think that's all right off the start. Uh, I think Squitter's hidden in this level somewhere, so I gotta be looking out for him, I suppose. Because uh, I think I need him to find all the stuff, actually. What are you doing in here? Aren't you going to get eaten by the zingers? Eh. And this is a little bit tricky to get used to, as stated, but when, once you get it, you've got it. And you shouldn't have much issues after that. But I had a coin! Do I want, did I want to jump back down here? I'm not sure. Just that I, I seen the banana trail from the top, and it was like, why would they want me to go that way or are they just like indicating that there was something up there like by pointing out that bananas were going up or something like that I don't know <laughs> you know I wonder if I should, I should switch to uh, um, Diddy Kong here because 
Uh, Dixie is by far better for exploring the levels, and I'd rather have her around than uh, Diddy because, you know, she's got the helicopter jump and whatnot. Oh, jeez, that was a stupid move. I, j I jumped the gun there and... Oh, no! Oh, panic. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> oh, guess it doesn't matter all that much. Die! Uh, what's over this way? Absolutely nothing. Uh-oh. Cannot cartwheel jump or move on that. I see a hook. Eh. Eh. Ah, there's Squitter. Must keep Squitter for as long as I need it. Must kill everything. Oh, and yeah, you can walk on honey without any issues with Squitter whatsoever. That's another advantage of being a spider. Whee! And I believe uh, a zinger would be covering that barrel if I didn't have Squitter there, so yeah. Oh, shoot, didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I want to see what's up here just for sake of exploration. Well, let's let her all, oh, but... Oh, and a donkey, donkey Kong barrel, of course, but that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for bonuses, er! And there's stuff hidden around every corner in these levels. Oh, wait a second. I should probably kill you off. Yeah, I can't use the the hooks and stuff while I'm squitter, obviously, so I gotta use the webs, but webs are by far more versatile than uh, um the honey anyway, which is the, uh, oh shoot, <laughs> I thought the land was closer, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm better off with Squitter, in fact, Squitter breaks a lot of levels that he's in, so, needless to say, Squitter isn't in a lot of levels, <laughs> um, I see, ah, like, yeah, like, you can, you can snipe things from a distance, it just, it just destroys everything, <laughs> Bill, I'm looking for secrets that I can only find with Squitter while I have it around here. Hmm. Anything down here, or is it just death? Looks like death to me, so I should probably get out of here. <laughs> Always gotta be wary of the webs disappearing on you, though. But as long as you jump to your freshest web, you shouldn't have any issues with your webs, so yeah. Just like jump to a web before you get to the next web, and yeah, you get the idea. Uh, I'm still. Oh wait, wait, something down here. No, oh, I don't have to just jump, jump straight down, aren't I? Come on, get rid of the web. Get rid of the web. Come on, get, get, go away. <laughs> I need to go down here. Uh, oh shoot. Uh, oops. I guess I gotta, I'm gonna have to shoot myself out of here in order to avoid the barrel, I guess. Oh, it looks like I needed Squitter to get past this gauntlet of. Uh, zingers, but is this going to lead me to a secret? Oh, that's certainly something that I'm looking for. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that without Squitter because I, I mean, I could have taken a hit to get through here, but I still wouldn't be able to throw a monkey up to the Donkey Kong coin because there wouldn't be a monkey, obviously. So that's definitely a, th a thing that you need Squitter for, and you also need Squitter to get. Oh, geez, that's a big shortcut. Wait, I can't. What the heck? I can't... Huh? I'm... I'm... I, I was, like, stuck in midair. I couldn't move left or right. What? <laughs> I have no idea what happened there. It was, it was like the... The cannon physics glitched there for a second. I... I don't know. Now, here's a thing that I can only get with Squitter. So this is... Definitely something that I want to get into. Find token! Oh yeah! And, oh jeez. Gotta climb in a narrow passageway. It's not that high. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, carefully. Don't fall. Won't have enough time to do this again. There we go. This is a long level, by the way. <laughs> I didn't really notice how, how long this level would be. I might just uh, um, end off this part after this level. Because I know there's still quite a bit more to explore on this thing. Just gotta carefully not lose Squitter through the whole thing. Take advantage of your projectiles. Ha! Like so. There's definitely something up there because there's a hook. But I found three bonus areas. How many more could there be? This is probably just for coins then, unless there is more bonus areas. But four bonus areas in one level seems a little excessive if there is a fourth one here. I don't know. <laughs> 
Hmm. I have no idea what that was for, but what, what's back this way? Like... No, no, no. Like, if I were to go... Up through this way, is, just, is that just ceiling? Yeah, it looks like it, but what? There's gotta be... Unless it's just for bananas, I wouldn't be surprised if it was just bananas. I'm gonna explore this upper area here. I, I've, hit, I've hit the edge of the world. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's anything there. Oh, shoot! No, 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 no! Squitter! And how did I grab onto the edge there? Was it actually sticky? I thought that was gonna die there. Eh. Well, anyway. I might actually end up having to play this level again if I needed Squitter for something else in this level. Oh, shoot. That, I guess that was the end of Squitter anyway. Hmm. I get that. Oh, I was gonna say get the G, but I just slipped off the button. Dang it! Let's see what I got here. I got everything. Wow. Um. Let's go over to Kong College and see what she has to say. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time for the next level, if I recall it correctly, because I'm gonna have to go through it a couple of times, I think, in order to get everything. <laughs> But I will save my game. That does does sound like something that I want to do. 48%. Nice. Almost halfway done. Secret doors! Uh, I believe I've demonstrated that many times throughout this walkthrough already. Well, maybe just once or twice. Uh, yeah, I think I'm done here. Even though this part's gonna be kind of short, I think it's a good time to end it because there's storms in the area. And I actually ended up making this part really, really late today because I was waiting for the storms to stop because it was uh, pinging against the tin fireplace that we have and it was making a lot of noise over here. I couldn't record and yeah, I just wanna make, make do with what I have here. So I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part.